modern super minis like the Volkswagen Polo have to be all things to all people. Naturally, they have to be nice and easy to drive around town, but they also need to be able to take longer journeys in their stride, as well as coping with the demands of drivers who are coming to a car of this class from something bigger and probably more expensive. The Polo is perfectly positioned to do all of that. In terms of style and quality, it's very much a mini Golf, and there's no better hatchback to mimic than this car's big brother. You only have to look at the Polo for a second to realize that it's a Volkswagen. That nose simply couldn't have been designed by any other manufacturer. It's as distinctive as any car you care to mention, and the resemblance to other Volkswagens is entirely deliberate. And there's more than a hint of the sporty Sirocco Coupe about this sharp and angular front end on this latest version. It's all very classy and upmarket, but at the same time, there's no denying the Polo looks very conservative. Most models come with tinted rear windows and alloy wheels. Sporty R-line models like this one come with a rear roof spoiler and unique bumpers. And at the top of the range, there's even a GTI model. The Polo's cabin follows very much the same theme as the exterior. Some may find it a little boring compared to the funkier cabins of, say, the Fiesta or the Mini, but it has a functional upmarket charm all of its own. Where it really scores over its rivals is that it's a very grown-up Super Mini, and it feels like a much bigger, more expensive car than it actually is. Everything is built from really high-quality materials, and unlike in some rivals, there's excellent attention to detail throughout the cabin. The black dials with white graphics are simple but attractive. And it's the same with the layout of the controls on the dashboard. Plus, you can also have big car features like a digital radio and climate control. It's not the biggest Super Mini, but there's plenty of room in the front seats, a wide range of adjustment on the driver's seat and excellent visibility. You can fit a couple of adults in the back seats too, and the boot is a decent size. Whereas the Fiesta and the Mini impress with the sporty way they drive, the Polo has altogether different strengths. Comfort and refinement are what it does best, and frankly, it does them better than almost any other rival. The suspension will smooth out all but the very worst lumps and bumps, and although purists will complain that the steering is a little bit light, that does at least make the car easy to drive around town and simple to slot into tight parking spaces. There are several engines to choose from, but we'd advise you to steer clear of the most basic ones, as they're really only strong enough to get you around town. If you regularly need to hit the highways, the 1.4 petrol is a perfectly good all-rounder. The 1.2 TSI is a little cracker, and the 1.4 Blue GT, which has cylinder deactivation technology, successfully balances performance and economy. It's all too easy to overlook the Volkswagen Polo. It's not the most exciting Super Mini to drive, and it's certainly not the most fashionable thing to look at. But in many ways, it's the very best car in its class. You'll need to spend an awful lot more on an Audi A1 to get something with a higher quality interior, and very few of its rivals can match its comfort or refinement. It's a thoroughly desirable little thing, and if you're in the market for a Super Mini, it's definitely worth considering.